All right, we got to talk about this uh, dominatrix uh, out west there. In I where? I think she's in Arizona, Arizona somewhere. Okay. I, I don't know if it's T Tucson or Phoenix. I really don't know where she is in Arizona. I've never met her. I've only seen her online and, and done tremendous damage to myself looking at her video clips. Online. She's got a website, yeah. yeah. She's, uh, I, I can't get the website out, but I'll just say her name. She's a public figure. It's, uh, it's Karen Von Croft. Oh, well, that sounds very... Oh, uh, she's a naughty one. I love her. She's, yeah. To me, she seems like, at least from her movies, like she's... You know, and she paddles like you said, t -t 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 little one. But that—that's the way to do it. That's the way. No, to do it's it. not. No, it is because you can't—you can't just bludgeon somebody. Like, I won't have any of it. But I'm thinking if if somebody uh, is is into it, they should be beaten within an inch of their life <laughs> by by these broads. You're so right, Ed. No, she doesn't do. She, oh yeah, she doesn't I don't like it's stuff. phony. I don't like living in the fantasy world. It's yeah, it's, it's a fantasy fake. phony thing. Right. And they should just be beaten where they are found on the floor. And th if they didn't get to the hospital that minute, they would die. <laughs> That's a true dominatrix. That's a dom. Not the fuzzy handcuffs like they're they're velcroed on. Ooh, yeah. scary Velcro. stuff here. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm out. What kind of crap is that? This girl, I just... Jimmy's getting frustrated. We just don't live in that world. No, I'm not no, into I, that either. Dude, not, not at all. Not at all. We've seen Jimmy. No, I'm not... Not, not into the spanking. No, 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 no but I, when I say not live in the world, like, you understand on some level. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah I just I don't. don't. Get it. I don't get that. There are guys that like that hardcore. I mean, I've, I've, I've met one hardcore dom in my life, like, that was for... She wouldn't take safe words or any of that stuff. She was I, real. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, like, you know, that's hardcore. boxing and stuff. She would really hurt you. See, there you go. That's the real deal. If you're into that... Go to her. If she's for real, then she would have a murder rap somewhere. Yes, yeah, something. That's some, for real. One to of me. her dumb clients <laughs> yes. gone awry. Right. Where she, she just left him dead. Yeah. Had to wipe down the doorknob when she was leaving. The strap-on power drill <laughs> went, went awry. You know, something. Something happened. Like, it was a mistake. So she. Oh, like, God, <laughs> stop. <It> was, <laughs> oh, God. No, you're naughty, <laughs> remember? It was a mistake, so she only did five to seven. You know what I mean? So she's out there, and it's it's on a resume. What's your safe word? I don't remember. I've <laughs> lost too much blood. Oh my God! Stop! You're killing me. I thought this would would be just fun. I turned forty. And I just wanted to try something new. Oh God! <laughs> I got I got a wife and three kids at home. The nude body of a father was found today in a seedy hotel room. <laughs> was. I made a mistake because my, my safe word was, I dare you to do it harder, bitch. <laughs> it was a safe phrase. It was a safe word. Oh, it's just the worst. It really is. Fantasy play taken to the to the umpteenth extent is, is ridiculous. And I mean that with dominatrix, your significant other, or wife, or anything like that. There's fun stuff you do in bed while you're having sex. You know, like you, you, we brought up in the past, the hair pulling's fun, a little smack on the ass, a little good-natured slap on the ass, things like that, biting, things like that. It, it's it's fun and good-natured. But if you're you got like you're following a script, Mr. Fabersham, I'm gonna have sex with you, <laughs> sex with you. You know, it's a, a, a like it's too deep. Like, all right, I come home from work. Right. If it entails like blocking your house off and, and a director, and like, yeah, I come home from work. You're waiting in the maid's uniform. Right. Stop it. I'm gonna come through the window. Yeah. And you're gonna blow my head off because you <laughs> forgot it was Tuesday. Right. <laughs> you know. It was right Fantasy Day. Fantasy Day. I thought it was Wednesday. It was Tuesday. No, I can't. And I shot him. No, I can't even chew my food anymore. <laughs> it was just a business trip to Des Moines. He was supposed to come home on Wednesday. It was Tuesday because we had this rape fantasy. And he came through the window and I shot him. He shot me. You know, you I shot me. <laughs> no jaw left. You want to do for a rape fantasy? Like have a girl. Like there are girls that want you to do that. Like you tie them up and like, you know, you blindfold her. I want to have that with a girl where I see having to blindfold you and tie you up. And then while it's happening, call her cell phone and go, it's not me doing it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> send somebody else. <laughs> hey, I yeah, call him and go, ah, oh, sorry, baby, I'm not going to be able to get home for about another hour or so. 
I sent my black coworker to pick up a couple of things. <laughs> <laughs> the hell is that? Huh? Uh oh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't right. like. Oh, that's uh, where I recognize it. Yeah. Role play is just like uh, you know. I'm I'm the mailman. No, you're not. Yeah. You're no, just you're just not. The same girl. You're not. I'm the, the naughty man. nurse. No, you're not. No, you're not. With the stupid rubber suit, <laughs> like it's 1941 with the red X on their hat. Right. What year is this? Look, what, are you going to put leeches on me? How old is that look, nurse I'll costume? admit you, you look hot as, like, uh, whatever. I can't say the word. You look hot, but you're not a nurse, okay? You're and, not the naughty nurse. And the naughty nurse thing is a sicko fantasy for a guy. It's It has to do with, um, with, uh... Uh, what do they use? Enemas? Yeah. The the enema, things like that. Things that are like, I'm I'm sickly, I need to be in your care kind of a thing. It's a motherly thing almost. It can it, be or it could also be a candy striper type thing where they're just hot chicks in like little short skirts. Well, that's also that totally, t that, that is completely different. Yeah. If there's a girl in a rubber nurse suit with that big red cross on her hat, get away from me. That's ridiculous. <laughs> but a candy striper thing? That's kind of cool. You know, that's cool. I but but it, as long as it doesn't go into this e extravagant, scripted role-playing. <laughs> oh, I hate you that. You have been a bad boy. <laughs> yes, yes, I have. I sure have, I naughty have. nurse. <laughs> oh, no, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> You know, sometimes when I'm kissing, I have to fight the urge to grab the throat. <laughs> Do you really? Oh, yeah. I Just love choke a bitch. Oh, I, I don't want to hurt her, but I like to yeah. choke a lot, man. Uh, I have to fight the urge. <laughs> like if, if I'm kissing a girl, all of a sudden she'll she'll feel my hand in a necklace pose around. Feel my hand in a necklace pose around. Whoa. Tapping her chest. Tapping. I, a, I really want to choke you. Oh my God! What is wrong with you? Oh Jesus, Jimmy. I love it. Anthony and Yonkers, what's up? Yeah, Anthony doesn't like living in the fantasy world. Two damage, two damage. Oh, yeah. yeah. I keep my fantasies to the computer monitor. Yeah, LARPing a lot cooler than uh, domination. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> Is that uh, a train? <laughs> Look, I didn't say, like, fantasy or, or some type of... Uh, not role playing, but just things you don't do in, in normal life in the bedroom is fine. And like I said, you know... A little, uh, a little, a playful stuff. I like playful stuff, but but also, you know, like the the a little bit of hair pulling is cool. Things like that, the little smack, but in like playful, funny kind of ways. I, I the the real rough stuff or the scripted like oh, yeah. like I said, the guy's in the garage and it's already begun <laughs> and action. All right, I'm pulling into the garage. What's going to meet me at the door? Oh, it's the naughty maid. Right. Oh, is it? She's got her feather duster. There you go. Naughty maid. Hey, big boy. <laughs> In the naughty maid outfit. Oh, who hasn't seen that? You want me to clean and then she winks? No. Stop it. I'm, I, a, I'm a fan of the oopsies. <laughs> oopsies? What is the oopsies? You know, you... They bend over and there's an oopsie. Like, oops, you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. and do they turn around and take their hand <laughs> and slightly cover their mouth and go, oopsie. <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed to see that. They, they turn around and look over their shoulder with their hand to their mouth. <laughs> oopsie. <laughs> You're not taking a peek, are you, you bad boy? <laughs> the oopsie. <laughs> I had a nurse. I'm a businessman with three kids. The same word was supposed to be fuzzy. She's dead. I see this girl in Vegas, and she would do a nurse, and her nurse's name was Nurse Pig. I would say, nurse Pig. Nurse Pig. See, that's not sexy. Oh, dude. I could never get past the name Nurse Pig. She ruled. She'd come out of the bathroom in, like, a dirty nurse outfit, but she was full service. And uh, she's what you call a completely good egg. Really? Yeah, we would do all kinds of things, and uh, she would spit in my mouth. She was a really good Nurse egg. And I'm not a submissive. Pig. She was such a pervert. I loved her. She tried to hit me with the strap on.
Wow. I, I didn't let her, though. I, I just let it go for a second and stopped it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> wait, wait. You let her go for a second, no, though? No, no. Let's just say this. All right. It just, it, just, it was just knocking at the door? No, not even. Let's just Hello? say... Hello? Who's that knocking at the door? Yeah, but I wasn't going... The door was never going to be Who's that open. ringing the bell? Yeah. It was more just kind of cool to see someone being such a pervert knocking at the door. I just yeah. kind of love the deviance of the whole thing. But as far as the door being open, never going to happen. No. No, not for any bad reasons other than I just, it's not my thing. You didn't let him in, thing. huh? I, nah, I didn't want to let her in. It was just, no, no, I, I corrected your him. It was a her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. That, that sensation does nothing for me. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's hey. Let's fist attached to it. Look at Joe in Jersey. Joe. <laughs> yeah. Bye, hey, what's up, Owen? Take him out of that one. <laughs> what's up? What's hey, up, I, Joe? I hate that role-playing crap, man. My girlfriend was trying to get me into role-playing the other night when I was trying to sleep, so I told her she should play a paralyzed mime. <laughs> Just lay there and like, shut up. Why would you we try, get it. Sir, why would she try to get you into role play while you were sleeping? Five minutes later, I was back asleep. Lovely. All right. Good. It sounds like let's, a thrill a minute, doesn't role it? Play. We'll, we'll play board radio hosts, and you play a guy with an awful joke. <laughs> Go. Oh, this is going well. <laughs> I'm just a businessman, baby. Uh, uh, Eric in Colorado. I didn't know. Yeah, good morning, boys. <laughs> hey, how's Dylan? It's going. Hey, I got to nominate Anthony for line of the day. Yeah, too early. Uh, earlier when you were talking about Sting and Anthony brought up Paul McCartney uh, conducting an orchestra, and he that uh, Paul McCartney is going to be using a wooden stick made from his wife's leg. Ah, uh, well, no, I wouldn't. Uh, I'm declining the nomination. I thought that was kind of hurtful. It was hurtful. It was mean, spirited. That's not what this show is about. It's about no. making people feel good and it's about laugh. Fun and laughter. Let's go to MJ from Long yeah. Island before we take a break. MJ. Yo, ONA, what's going on, guys? Hey. I used to do security work for a dominatrix out here, and she used to tell me what this guy wanted. He wanted her to strap it on at least 10 plus, give it to a roar like a really bad episode of Oz. Oh, my Wow. God. Oh, my God. I mean, she used to tell me about it. I mean, I was like, did the guy want anything? She's like, no, not even Astroglide. I'm sitting there. Hopping up a loogie worse than Jimmy after seeing something real gross. It was disgusting. Would she make you carry and clean the equipment? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, no, but it had to go into my vehicle. Oh, man. That's, you know, you uh... Guys rule, little, Jimmy, little Jimmy, you well, suck. Don't ever change. Thank you, buddy. All right, there you go. Hey, someone from their cell phone, the worst is when you're done... And the uncomfortable silence as you put away the lube, cuffs, plastic blindfold. Oh, it's the most awkward. <laughs> it's not, if you throw a, everything in the dishwasher. <laughs> if there's the kids, just a drunken with the, with the kids' sippy cups. <laughs> sippy cups. <laughs> oh, that big rubber mouth with the uh, extension on it like, <laughs> and the little electric light turner on or off or that goes on it. It's sitting in the dishwasher right next, next to your champagne flute. Right next to the Scooby-Doo sippy cup. Yeah, because we're going to like do a separate uh, load for the uh, sex toys, right? <laughs> right, gals? Better. <laughs> throw, it all, throw it all in the dishwasher and get the, ready, uh, get the kids ready for school. That's the <laughs> uh, most embarrassing thing, though. It's like the cleanup time. Always has been. Yeah. Just because it's all fine and dandy until everything's laying around the room and the bedroom, and, and then you're like, oh, it's cleanup time. Try making small talk when you're folding plastic bags and gargling with peroxide. <laughs> <laughs> small talk. Let's go to break. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. Go right back to the phones. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. We got Sam in Pittsburgh. Listening to us on K Rock. What's up, Sam? Hey guys, what's up? Ah, we're rocking. You know. Hey Jimmy, when you were in Pittsburgh, you killed us. Well, uh, thank you, buddy. You enjoyed it. What do you say? What did he say? He was giving you a compliment. Thank you. Enjoy it. What did he say? I thought her Pittsburgh is... Yeah, you... I heard something about... You killed him in... Oh, the... you, I, thought, I thought he said okay. In thank Pittsburgh. You, I did think you said that. Thanks, bud. All right. Hey, I got a story oh for you guys. Oh, my God. Yes, yeah, Sam. All right. <laughs> so one time, me and my girlfriend, right, we're doing the role-playing thing, and uh, I'm the patient. She's the nurse, right? Yuck. 
Yeah. So organ Please tell me it was a cancer scenario. I'm sorry to interrupt. You do a really unsexy role play. Like, you know, oh, my, teeth, my my white blood still count is down, and you have to vomit after chemo, and she helps you, and then punches your face and takes your wallet, and that's your scenario. <laughs> Dresses in a hot, naughty uh, nurse outfit and pulls your hair out. <laughs> she, pulls your, she pulls your wispy hair out. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. First hour right, of the fantasy is filling out insurance <laughs> forms. <laughs> I can't go back to my wife and kids looking like this. <laughs> Why'd you pull all my hair out? <laughs> Drink it. Drink it. <laughs> that dopey businessman. Karen Muncroft, I love her. I said the safe word. <laughs> she wouldn't stop. Yeah. Officer, she wouldn't stop. She just kept going. Right, so you uh, naked, shaking with a blanket <laughs> over him at the police station. Big clumps of his hair missing, bloody nose. His wife's calling like crazy. He's making believe he's at like TGIF. I got mugged. I got mugged. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Oh, we're gonna go home with two black guys. What did I tell my kids? You should have thought of that before, sir. <laughs> I should have. Like every bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. Sir. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, sir. Role playing. Right. This makes me laugh. You know? <laughs> so she asked, she asked me to pick a name because she wants me to pick a name that's not mine. So I pick this name that's like an inside joke with me and my friend, and I'm like, Mr. McDougal. Like, I just pick it out of nowhere. <laughs> McDougal. So she told me, she told me this ridiculous name. Hmm? I, yeah. can't, I can't concentrate because this name is just killing me. Right. And then she puts on a glove, and I'm, I'm like, oh, you know, what is she doing with this glove? She's like, so do you want me to inspect, you know, Basically, you you want to meet and right. anally inspect. The, oh, see, that one you fly. were you were doing oh, so good. My God. See, you know what? Oh let me, my let, God, let me, Sam! Let me you tell there. you something, Sam. You were there. You knew that. I could tell by your hesitation. You knew where you wanted to go, but you knew you you weren't supposed to go there. See, <laughs> no, all you gotta wait, say is that to future tough. callers to this radio show, you don't have to be Captain Obvious. Here it is. Here's how you you should have said that. So she puts on the glove. Now everyone knows where what's coming. So you go. She puts on the glove because she's gonna do the full examination. There you go. Now everyone, everyone. knows. Everyone knows what what you're talking about. Right. Eyes, ears, nose, and throat. Right. And if they don't know what you're talking about, at that point, we don't need them listening anyway. They're so much care. too stupid <laughs> even people, for this program. You got enough people aboard, as they say. Yeah, you don't have to get so graphic. Don't be Captain Obvious. We we got some very smart, intelligent people that listen to this show. They could figure crap out. After nine, you could be Admiral Obvious. That's right. We don't care. Yeah, <laughs> really. Don't, but don't be Captain Obvious. General Obvious. Right. Oh, yeah. After nine, we'll ask you how many fingers. <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, say she uh, after that. It's XM Satellite awesome. Radio. What? We yep, All right, go ahead, Sam. to say what? <laughs> he gave up, sir. I'm sorry. He gave up. <sighs> what, why, what, why, why? Why did he give up? Chief People in Jersey. People have a hard time telling these stories. Yeah, Chief. Yeah. Hey, that chief. It's an old Indian hey, game up, called Put rock. the Ball in the Hole. <laughs> Good. Uh, oh, that man, you guys rocking. Little Jimmy Norton. He ruled. You. Thank you, buddy. But, uh, no, I was listening before. I drive like a work at, to work every day like an hour. And uh, when you guys were talking about role playing and Andy came up with just choke a bitch, I damn near caught the 10 car pileup. That well, that's funny as hell. That's uh, what well. Jimmy does. Jim <laughs> I just got one more thing to ask Jimmy, though. Yeah. I just want to know if he wants to get a black prostitute, an Asian prostitute, with a little two on two, and then grab some Sunny D if he's interested. <laughs> we could all, we could all Sunny D. poke our infected heads into the fridge. <laughs> sunny delight for my multicultural friends. I got a black friend, a girl, and an Asian friend, and we're all having some Sunny D, ma. That's awesome, man. You guys rock. Check it out. All right, thanks. Oh, look, son, your friends are over. Get your black hands off the Sunny D. <laughs> Mom will pour that for you. Yes. <laughs> Tell your black friend to enter the porch. He'll have his Sunny D handed to him through the window. Look, we're open-minded, but we're not that open-minded. That's Sunny D. <laughs> you wait outside for your fresh, cold glass of Sunny D. I hated the fact that you were on the inside of the fridge. <laughs> You're sitting there next to a pot roast whilst liberal son and his multicultural friends open the door for some Sunny D after working up some boy sweat. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Let's get some Sunny D. All right. <laughs> Yuck. 
I also hated the children that wanted more Ovaltine, Mom. Oh, please? Who asked for it by brand name? Yeah. More homogenized D, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't you just say more chocolate milk? Yeah, or Mom. more of that stuff. More, more of that stuff. More awful chocolate milk. Yeah. More awful teen. More gritty drivel, Ma. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Miles in Maine. Yes, Miles. I was on the internet the other day, and I heard something about a yiffy furry fandom, something involving, like, sex with, like, plushies or something like that. Oh, plushies are, uh, are people that like to have sex with people that dress up like, uh, stuffed animals. It's not even people that dress up like stuffed animals. It's actual stuffed animals. Too. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's, uh, it's both? It's, it's something to do with, yeah, they'll take the stuffed animal and treat it like, uh, you know, Is that a goof uh, a fantasy, partner. though? No. Is, is that the a partner? No, what it is? must be for people who are really desperate or something. Yeah, what yeah, the I don't know where that comes from. Crap. If there's ever been a group of people that should be executed, it's them. The plushies? They're awful. There's websites. Uh, throw yeah, throw yeah. plushie into the Google. And there's, there's all, kinds of, all kinds of um, techniques that they give on these websites on how to use each uh, stuffed animal and its uh, features. And to you know, they take like if one has uh, little arms, like you got a little doggy, uh, and it's got little arms and legs and stuff. Well, they're all legs, aren't they, on a dog? Yeah. <laughs> Be silly exactly. if you stood up, you could call them arms, but they never stand up like that. No, they're well, always... they do occasionally, but they can't grab things. Get me a beer. No, doesn't they work. They can't. But no you put thumbs. peanut butter in the right place, and you'll see exactly <laughs> why he's man's best friend. <laughs> I told Anthony during the, the break that I can't get enough of the, the businessman that decided to have a little fun. I love it. Just once. You know, I'm out. I, just, I'm curious. I hear some of the guys talking around. I'm a little curious. Gets the hooker. And and I'm sick of being the faithful do-gooder at the office. It just all goes wrong for him. <laughs> Cracks her head, jumping at something stupid like jumping on the bed. Wee, we're gonna have fun tonight. And she falls, cracks her head on the night table, and dies as he's cradling her. He's full of blood, crying. <laughs> Love it. Interrogated by the cops. His cell phone's oh. ringing nonstop. It's his wife checking in, and he's got all hell breaking loose oh. around him. Boss is calling. She's leaving voicemails. Well, I'm, I'm in the minivan on the way uh, oh. to pick up Junior from soccer practice. Haven't heard from you. You <laughs> said you were going to call uh, before you went to sleep, but I haven't heard from you. Hoping everything's okay. He's cradling a dying hooker's head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, God, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, stuffing the hooker into a suitcase. Oh crap! Uh, that has made me laugh for two and a half hours. I got tears in my eyes. Oh, nine one one, please! It was an accident. It was an awful accident. I, every, this is gonna. She fell on and her head's cracked open. A girl, I met her. No, I. Send someone right away. She's not breathing. I. Oh my God. She's there's so much blood. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, fantastic. God. That will make me laugh all day. That's long. fantastic. All right. Let's I couldn't anyway. get to the guy fast enough. The yeah. guy out there. Because I I'm just curious if other people find that is fascinated by it. And, we got a guy who's like, dude, I almost drove off the road listening to that this morning. It's just she's, something about she's it. She's in her minivan going to the soccer field with Coldplay yeah. playing. Hi, honey. Oh, my God. All these songs remind me of me and my husband. Hope everything's okay. Good luck closing that deal. <laughs> this is a big one for you. Just dead hooker bleeding from the ears. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh God! And he's dressed as a plushie. <laughs> oh, matted hair on with the that, corner of the dresser. The ass is cut out of his suit because he wanted to experiment with her fucking him with a strap on. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got a red tube sock sticking out his ass. He wanted to be on the business end of a rubber dick. <laughs> Just that once. Just to experiment, and it went horribly wrong. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Oh, dude, no. dude, dude, they're coming in finally. Oh. Because I thought we were losing it as uh, as professional broadcasters. There's a guy on the cell phone. Okay, this is the second time I had to pull over laughing about the fucking <laughs> businessman and the hooker. Please stop. I love that. There's something just so uncomfortable about it. It's, it's like every bad movie, though, you know? Hi, honey. <laughs> just calling to say hi. I understand you're probably very busy with work, and that's why you haven't called me back, but we're here. We miss you. Um, can't wait to uh, pick you up at the airport. Little Johnny's having a play date. He's having a little play date next door, and um, I put the baby down for a nap. <laughs> little Johnny, why don't you say hi to your father? Hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Daddy, because Daddy. Dad, me to Daddy. <laughs> this is what... Oh, God, I did I wanted to experiment, but it was just it was this one time I got a family, but I got to say it, and John, she was just coming over, and she, but friends told me that it would be okay, but, oh my God, is she, no, she's dead, oh my God, oh, she's not dead. And he's just checking his voicemail on speakerphone so that he's hearing his kid's voice while he's, like, freaking mopping up hooker. Daddy, I drew a picture of you, Daddy. Drew a picture of Daddy at work. It's on the, the movie donator. <laughs> oh, my God. I have a family. There's not enough towels in this, in this hotel room to clean up the blood. <laughs> She slipped, officer. She slipped. I swear to you, we were having a good time. Why are you in a bunny suit, sir? With the ass cut out? <laughs> I told you we were experimenting. He's so messed up he forgot to take the plastic dildo out. <laughs> it's, it's hanging there like a shameful reminder of his naughty excursion. <laughs> his excursion to naughtiness. Naughtiness. Hey, our studio audience is not pleased with the subject at hand. Oh, no. Ah, maybe it touches a little too close to home. Getting a couple laughs. Why not? A couple in the front row. The no. back row, we got to turn them. We got to get they them really laughing. They hate us. They're like oh, sponsors to the radio show and everything. <laughs> be an Anthony to promote the Supes franchise. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> I gather someone on instant feedback has another element to this story, perhaps? They're finally waking up and playing, man. The Valium wore off. <laughs> <laughs> DJ ain't a light bulb. You know, the businessmen, they they have to get some uh, souvenirs for the kids, right? Of course. <laughs> Uh, where is it? It just updated. Okay. He bought his son a little wooden race car that is now <laughs> covered with the hooker blood. <laughs> with hooker blood. <laughs> I, I also picture, you know, you know, when you check in a hotel, they got the the desk area where you can plug in your computer yeah. and you have, you, you, you know, your papers. I just pictured some <laughs> inane business-like pie chart that he printed out and in one quick second splatters of blood just whoosh, went all over it and ruined them but the key is it's all an accident yeah he's not a psychopath no he's just a regular <laughs> business guy wanted to have a, an ounce of excitement in his drab little business life everything's great. and now his life is destroyed he's going to prison in a bunny he's suit. losing his wife and his kids and he's irrationally just trying to straighten her hair as her brain matter is on the floor. Yeah, yeah, you'll be okay. And he looks up and he sees his screensaver is kicked in. And it's a picture of his three-year-old holding a bouncy ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his screensaver. <laughs> and he just knows he's fucked. He sets up a little picture of the wife and kids on his night table next to the hotel bed. And he's in a bunny At his too. comfort, comfort in the the phone. Uh, the phone's ringing like crazy. It's the it's the pimp wondering when he's gonna be <laughs> where the girl is. Oh God! I want to talk to her. Yeah, she's sleeping. <laughs> she's um, sleeping. It's. Uh, oh, I'm gonna pay for another hour. Yeah, I'll pay for it. Don't worry. Oh, oh, I gotta do something. Uh, let's go to George in Chicago. George. Hey, I picture the guy in a bunny suit cradling her bloody head saying, You're going to be okay. You're going to be You're okay. Gonna be. Silly rabbit, dead hookers aren't for businessmen. Oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, let's go that wasn't that bad. It's Thank you, dumb. Jimmy. Let's that go to Tom in Tennessee. Tom? <laughs> Silly rabbit. 
Hey, I just want to say fuck the suits behind the window, man. This is awesome fucking radio. Yeah. Man. My ass yeah. off out here. Oh, I just thank you. love it. How long, Watch Opie, now, how long does he sit there <laughs> after he realizes everything? He's over the initial, like, <laughs> freak out of crying. How long does he sit there just rocking back and forth with a hooker in his lap trying to figure it out? Like, hours got to tick by. Hours. Then the anger at her kicks in, <laughs> and the sadness goes away, and he starts to go, why did you have to do that? And he starts bruising her chest with his fist. Stupid fucking bitch! All right. It's my life! Back to the dump report.